Hey guys, it's Shooky J, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to play Minecraft with a PS3 or Xbox controller. Um, for this specific tutorial, I will be using a PS3 controller. Um, you have to have an official Sony controller. Um, it can't be one of those ones that plugs in with a USB dongle. Either has to be a generic wired PS3 controller or a legit Sony controller that you can connect either with USB or Bluetooth. So the only thing that you will be needing for this tutorial is obviously Minecraft or some other game that works with the same manner and a um, some software and a PS3 controller. Um, the software is called Motion Enjoy. So I will just quickly show you that website. It's just motionenjoy.com. And when you get to this website, it's going to say DualShock 3 6 axis um, old box controller with pressure sensitive blah blah blah. So you're going to go until you find the download link, which is right here. So you can um, download it right here. So it's uh, motionenjoy.com slash download. And uh, you download it and you just save it to your desktop or whatever, wherever. I, I forget if it stalls or if it just saves it. But either way, it should end up on your desktop somehow. And once that happens, um, you're going to want to open the software from the shortcut on your desktop. And um, we're going to have it right here. And. As you can see here, this is the setup I have, and um, in the profiles section, you need to have it at a custom default. So just leave it, so put the bubble in the custom default, and the way I test the, if the controller is actually working, number one, it'll say DualShock 3 6x6, and it'll say USB. Or you can just test the vibration, and if your controller vibrates, you're set to go. Um, Actually, before I even start, I will be doing a quick showing you how to connect it on Bluetooth. So you go to the Bluetooth pair, and um, you go to the your Bluetooth adapter, whether it be built in or in your USB. So you select your USB controller, you pair it, and it says paired. You can unplug it with USB and it should stay on and then you go back to profiles and it should say DualShock 3 Bluetooth and that is how you have a wireless controller don't worry if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth it, or if you don't have a Bluetooth plug-in for your USB it still works just the same on um, USB so now that we have that out of the way you go to the um, custom default button and you hit create and I have one that's already named um, Minecraft Controls, but it doesn't matter what you name yours, and I'll just show you how this is supposed to work. So for Triangle, you have to drop down the menu and hit Keyboard, and um, this keyboard comes out, and you literally press the one you want to have. So in this case, it's your personal preference you can set up however you want I will let you set up your buttons the way you want to set them up but the one that you will actually probably need help with is uh, these ones and so you might notice that the triangle through square and R1 and the d-pad directions they all repeat themselves from up here and um you're just going to want to click drop down the menu and click none for each and every one of those right until you get to the left stick X plus and for this you have to do the exact controls I'm showing you all the other ones you can have however you want but these controls are mandatory they have to be the way they are shown here so left stick X axis plus you go to keyboard and you select D uh, left stick left stick X minus you gotta go to the keyboard and select A 
and if you you should understand it by now, you just drop down and select it on the keyboard. Uh, left stick Y plus should be S. Left stick Y minus should be W. And then your right stick is it also has to be exactly as it's shown here. Right stick X plus you go under the mouse and you go under right. Uh, right stick X minus you go to the mouse again and it should be just left under the axis menu. Uh, right stick Y plus should be again mouse and it should be down. It has to be set up exactly like this. I know it appears to be opposite but trust me it won't work the other way. And then once you get down here to the front and right and left and back tilts, disable those by going into the drop down menu and hitting none for each of those. And then you will save your changes and uh, you will name it Minecraft Controls. So once you have that, you will save it, you hit save changes, and it should be under here somewhere. And you're just going to have to hit the pencil next to it and name it Minecraft Controller. And if you want to write a description, you can, and I'll just write, use this if you want to... Yeah, I'm a bad typer. Sorry about that. So after that's done, you press OK, and it will say Minecraft controller, and um, that's it. Or you could have just hit New, and it will also add it. It doesn't matter now that these are both the same. It no, actually, no. You shouldn't have done that. You should have just um. Yeah. So keep just, you know, edit the one you already have, just hit the pencil and rename it and that'll work. So hopefully I didn't confuse anybody, I really don't mean to confuse anybody, but um, hopefully I didn't. And uh, I wish I could show you right now, I really can't though, I'm not advanced enough, I hate to admit that, but I really don't know how to put the video insert of something that's going on outside of the computer. Uh, by the way, if anybody knows how to do that, please comment on this video of any software you may know of how to do that. But anyways, that's enough talking. Now let's just prove to you that this actually works. So just, um, for you, you would have to minus it, and I'll just show you how you can just hit X and it'll run in the background. You go to Options, and make sure you have auto run checked all of these are supposed to be checked and leave everything the way it is just make sure these are all checked so now you can press the X button and you can go play Minecraft and I will just show you really fast that this actually works So I will be going on my personal Minecraft server. It is open to the public 24-7, Monday through Friday. And there's an alternate address on Saturday and Sunday most of the time. I will show that later. But um, this is the address if you ever want to join my server. It's 99.9.166.99. I'm currently in the progress of updating a video, an old video and it just shows you around the server so just join it and again I will even unplug my um, Logitech dongle for my keyboard and everything this is I'm I swear to god I'm playing on a PS3 controller I mean you may not believe me but try it for yourself if you're skeptical about it it works um, I'll just build a quick little shack and make sure all the controls are working. And this lag isn't because the controller is crappy, it's because my computer is crappy. But, um, yeah, the you can use the bumpers to select items in your inventory. 
I'm just going to build a quick little quartz house. And you can build just like you would for the Xbox edition. It's really, really simple. I'm just going to make an example for you guys. I'll build a shack and show you how easy it is. And the controls can be a little touchy, so my advice to you is um, you go into your settings and you go to options and uh, you lower your sensitivity to about 65% somewhere around there, it doesn't have to be perfect. That should be a little bit better. So you can build, obviously you would hear if I was clicking a mouse, which I'm clearly not. So I'm not going to build the whole entire structure, just I'll show you that I can make a little bit of something with this controller. I wouldn't say that it's easier to use a controller. It's just personal preference if you like to or not. I personally prefer a keyboard and mouse because that's how Minecraft was meant to be played. But if you are used to PS3, if you play a lot of PlayStation, or if you are an Xbox Minecraft Xbox Edition user, this will probably feel pretty nice for you. Um, it works perfectly um, if you have the Minecraft edition, uh, the Xbox edition. You can set the controls to be exactly the same, which is what I did. I used to have it for the Xbox, and it's pretty phenomenal, actually. It's very similar controls. So um, that pretty much concludes the tutorial. Um, I did do some minor tweaks, just for personal preference. I made it so that start pauses it and you can use the select button to see who's in your game. Um, that's personal preference, but you guys can customize it however you want, but just remember the uh, joystick has to be exactly as I have it listed. Um, but other than that, you have some leeway on how you want to program it. Just personal preference, except for the joysticks. They have to be exactly like that. So, um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, have a great day.